trio of siblings from Florida are on the run after what authorities are describing as a violent crime spree. They're suspected for robbing a bank in Georgia and opening fire on a police cruiser. Dave Kraut has the story. Early Tuesday morning, Zephyr Hills officer Kevin Widener on routine patrol notices this white Subaru doing 45 in a 35 mile an hour zone. He turns to follow, but the car's driver speeds away. Shot for fire from the passenger side view. Officer Widener relays his position to dispatch as the Subaru snakes its way through eastern Pasco County. Speeds are over 100 miles per hour at this time. Listen carefully as the Subaru driver ducks through a CVS store parking lot with Officer Widener not far behind. That was the sound of gunfire as somebody unloads seven to nine rounds towards Officer Widener. A supervisor tells him to back off. Widener's patrol car, now with a flat front tire, continues for a time, but later is forced to pull over as the crooks speed off. I can't go any farther. My car's Pasco Sheriff Chris Nako says he fears there will be a battle if the Doherty siblings are caught off guard. These are very dangerous fugitives out there. They've attempted homicide on a law enforcement officer in Pasco County. They are suspects for that. We know they went to a bank robbery in Valdosta, Georgia, used high caliber weapons. We know they have an arsenal of weapons. Now, the Doherty siblings have troubled past. One was recently convicted as a sex offender after sending sexually explicit texts to an 11-year-old girl. And police say they robbed a bank in Georgia wearing masks and firing automatic weapons into the air. Pieces of one of those weapons was found stashed in an airport bathroom trash can.